In this video, we are going to be simplifying and evaluating five expressions. So actually, we'll be solving five questions. The theme on which this runs, this entire set of five questions runs, is on the rule of exponents. So before we set about solving these questions, what we'll do is let's quickly recap the rules of exponents. Start with the first one, which is a power x into a power y. So this is equal to a raised to the power of x plus y. Let's take an example to see why it works the way it works. Let's take something like 10 square into 10 cube. What is a 10 square? A 10 square is a 10 into 10. So let's expand it 10 into 10. 10 cube is nothing but 10 into 10 into 10. So this is our a cube. This is our a square. So what are we left with? We are left with a 10 power 5, which is nothing but 10 raised to the power of 2 plus 3. So 10 square into 10 cube is 10 power of 2 plus 3. In general, a power x into a power y is equal to a power of x plus y. Let's move to the second rule. a power x raised to a power of y is equal to a raised to a power of x y. We basically multiply the powers and write it. Let's look at an example. Let's look at something like 10 square whole cube. It's as good as having an a cube. What is a cube? a cube is a into a into a. So for us, this is going to be a 10 square, which is 10 into 10 into 10 into 10 into 10 into 10. So what are we left with? We have 6 tens multiplied to each other. So the final answer is going to be equal to 10 raised to the power of 6, which is nothing but 10 raised to the power of 2 into 3. So if you have a 10 square raised to the power of 3, the answer is going to be 10 raised to the power of 2 into 3, which is 10 power 6. Or in general, a power x raised to the power of y is a power of xy. Let's move to the third one. a power x by a power y is equal to a power of x minus y the difference between the exponents. Let's take again an example. Let's go with a 10 cube and divide it by a 10 square. 10 cube is a 1000. 10 square is a 100. 1000 by 100 is equal to 10, which is nothing but 10 power 1, which is equal to 10 power of 3 minus 2. So an a power x by a power y is equal to a power of x minus y. The fourth one is a more interesting one. a power x raised to a power of 1 by y. It actually resembles a power x raised to a power of y. So to that extent, it's going to be a power of x into 1 by y, which is a power of x by y. But more importantly, what is anything raised to a power of 1 by y? It is a yth root of that number. So this is going to be equal to the yth root of a power x. Take an example, 10 square raised to a power of 1 by 3. So what is this going to be? When you see a 1 by 3, we are talking about a cube root. Cube root of what? Cube root of 10 square is what we have. Fourth rule is a power minus x is equal to 1 by a power x. So if you see something like a 10 power minus 5, the answer is going to be equal to 1 by 10 power 5. And lastly, a power x into b power x. The exponents are same, right? The exponent is the same x for both these numbers. The answer is going to be a b raised to the power of x. Multiply the numbers and then find it. Let's take an example. Let's do something like 2 square into 5 square. What is a 2 square? 2 square is a 2 into 2. 5 square is a 5 into 5. Let's club this 2 and a 5, which is going to be 2 into 5. Let's club this 2 into 5. It's going to be another 2 into 5. So essentially what we'll be writing is 2 into 5 into 2 into 5, which is nothing but 2 into 5 the whole square. So a power x into b power x is a b power x. 2 square into 5 square is 2 into 5 the whole square. Let's quickly apply these rules. See them in a printed form first and then apply these rules for the 5 questions. Right? Pause the video at this point. Take a quick look, understand these rules once more before you hit the play button. We'll start with the first of the questions. 729 raised to the power of 1 by x. Many of these questions, the starting point is going to be prime factorizing the given number. 729, let's prime factorize it. 729 is divisible by 3. So 729 by 3 is a 243. This is also divisible by 3. 243 by 3 is an 81 divided by 3. 27 is the quotient divided by 3 is going to be a 9 divided by 3 is going to be a 3. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 729 is 3 power 6. So 729 raised to the power of 1 by 6 can be written as 3 power 6 raised to the power of 1 by 6. a power x raised to the power of y is a power of xy. So this is going to be 3 power of 6 into 1 by 6. These two terms will cancel out to give an answer which is 3 power 1. So 729 raised to the power of 1 by 6 is equal to 3. Quickly recap this entire thing in a printed form. Prime factorize 729 as a 3 power 6. So we can replace this 729 with a 3 power 6. That's going to become 3 power 6 raised to the power of 1 by 6. 
to 3 power 6 by 6 is equal to 3. The rule of exponent used is a power x raised to the power of y is a power of xy. Move on to the second one. 64 raised to the power of 2 by 3. Hit the pause button here. Prime factorize 64. Apply the rule. Which rule will you apply? You will be applying the rule a power x raised to the power of y because you have you'll get something in the form of a power x here raised to the power of y and see whether you are getting the answer to this. Subsequently hit the play button to check out whether our, whether our answers match. I'll start by prime factorizing 64. Assume you got the answer to this. 64 is divisible by 2. So that's equal to a 32. Divisible by 2 which is a 16. Divisible by 2 which is an 8. Divisible by 2 which is a 4. Divisible by 2 which is a 2. If you know 64 is a 2 power 6, just jump to that step directly, right? Do not waste time doing all of this. Wherever you can save time, use it. So 64 power 2 by 3 is nothing but 2 power 6 raised to the power of 2 by 3. A power x raised to the power of y is a power of x into y. So in this case, it's going to be 2 power of 6 into 2 by 3. Which is nothing but 2 power of 12 by 3, which is equal to 2 raised to the power of 4, which is nothing but 16. So 64 raised to the power of 2 by 3 is equal to 16. Another way of going about the same thing. Anything power 1 by 3 is a cube root. So let's do a cube root of 64 square, which is what we have. 64 is nothing but 2 power 6. So we're going to be doing a cube root of 2 power 6 raised to the power of 2. So nothing but a cube root of 2 power 12. Cube root of 2 power 12 is equal to 2 power 4. Exactly the same exercise. Instead of writing it as a 1 by 3, we have written it as a cube root. Quickly recap this question in a printed form. 64 prime factorizes as 2 power 6. So 64 power 2 by 3 is nothing but 2 power 6 raised to the power of 2 by 3. Which is 2 power of 6 into 2, 12 by 3, which is 2 power 4. And 16 is the answer to this. Let's move on to part C. The rule of exponent used here is again the same as what we used in the first one. a power x raised to the power of y is a power of xy. Part 3, 243 raised to the power of 6 by 5. As usual, hit the pause button, prime factorize 243, see what answer you get. Come back to check whether our answers match. 243 prime factorizes as follows, divisible by 3, answer is 81 divided by 3, this is a 27 divided by 3, this is a 9 divided by 3, this is equal to 3. So 243, when you prime factorize it, you're going to get an answer, which is 3 power 5. So 243 raised to the power of 6 by 5, is going to be 3 power 5 raised to the power of 6 by 5. What is the rule of exponent you are going to be using? a power x raised to the power of y which is equal to a power of xy. So this is going to be 3 power of 5 into 6 by 5. 5 and 5 will get cancelled. So you will be left with 3 power 6 as the answer. 3 power 6 if we recollect what we did in part a is going to be equal to 729. So 243 raised to the power of 6 by 5 is equal to 729. Recap it in a printed form. 243 prime factorizes as 3 power 5. So we're going to be replacing this 243 with a 3 power 5. 3 power 5 raised to the power of 6 by 5, which is 3 power of 5 into 6 by 5. 5 into 6 is 30 by 5, which is equal to 3 power 6 or 729 is the answer. Let's move on to the fourth one. This is a little different from what we have done. In earlier ones, we had only one term. So here we have something of the form a power x into a power y. So the rule of exponent I'm going to be using a power x into a power y. What is this? This is equal to a power of x plus y. Pause the video right now. Get the answer with this framework. Check out whether our answers match. Have you done that? Let's get back to the video. So in our case, it's going to be 21 raised to the power of 3 by 2 into 21 raised to the power of 5 by 2. a power x into a power y is going to be equal to a power of x plus y. 21 raised to the power of 3 by 2 plus 5 by 2 should give us the answer. 2 is a common denominator in the part. So 21 raised to the power of 2 in the denominator, 3 plus 5 is going to be your numerator. This is nothing but 21 raised to the power of 8 by 2, which is equal to 21 power 4. Quickly recap this entire thing in a printed form. a power x into a power y is a power of x plus y. So 21 raised to the power of 3 by 2 into 21 raised to the power of 5 by 2 is equal to 21 raised to the power of 3 by 2 plus 5 by 2. All of this is in the exponent 3 by 2 plus 5 by 2. So it is nothing but 21 power 8 by 2 or 21 power 4 is the answer. The last one, we got 81 raised to the power of 1 by 3 divided by 81 raised to the power of 1 by 2. 1 by 12, I am sorry. So what is the rule of exponent we are going to be using? It resembles a power x divided by a power y. 
a power x by a power y is a power of x minus y. Let's apply this rule, get the answer, pause the video, get the answer and come back to the video. So what we'll have is 81 raised to the power of 1 by 3 minus 1 by 12 because x is equal to 1 by 3, y is equal to 1 by 12. In the power, the common denominator, the LCM that we are going to be taking is going to be equal to a 12. So it's going to be 81 raised to the power of 12. 4 times 3 is a 12. So we're going to be writing this number as a 4 by 12. 1 by 3 is a 4 by 12. So 4 minus 1 by 12 is your power. So this is going to be equal to 81 raised to the power of 3 by 12. 3 by 12 is in your exponent. So it's nothing but 81 raised to the power of 1 by 4. Let's go back to what we did in ABC, all those three variants. Let's prime factorize this 81. 81 is divisible by 3, so it is going to be equal to at 27. Divisible by 3, so leave you with 9 as an answer. Divisible by 3, which is equal to 3. So 81 can be written as 3 raised to the power of 4, raised to the power of 1 by 4. This resembles the form a power x raised to the power of y, which is nothing but a power of x into y, which is 3 power of 4 into 1 by 4. 4 and 4 gets cancelled. The final answer is equal to 3. So 81 power 1 by 3 divided by 81 power 1 by 12 is equal to a 3. Quickly recap it in a printed form. The rule of exponent that we have used is a power x by a power y is equal to a power of x minus y. What is x? x is equal to 1 by 3. What is y? y is equal to 1 by 12. So 81 power 1 by 3 by 81 power 1 by 12 will essentially become 81 raised to the power of 1 by 3 minus 1 by 12. All of this is in the exponent. Finally, it translates to 81 raised to the power of 1 by 4. Let's prime factorize 81. 81 is a 3 power 4. So 81 power 1 by 4 is a 3 power 4 raised to the power of 1 by 4, which is 3 power of 4 by 4, which is equal to 3. So quick recap, go back to the video starting, look at the rules of exponents and then keep those in mind. You'll find that in at least one or two questions, you'll be tested on some of these rules of exponents.